Hello everybody, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. It's Sunday. It's a good Sunday. It's weekend. We can have some fun. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Distant Star Revenant Fleet. Um, I had a very, very, very embarrassing run when I started recording today and uh, I, uh, I may have died as soon as I started the episode. Uh, so I'm not going to show you that episode guys. Screw that. Fresh start. Fresh start. Brand new episode. None of that. None of that nonsense of like starting in it like a new adventure in the middle of the last episode and blah blah blah. You know, new episode. New beginnings. Here we go. And by the way, one more thing that I wanted to mention to you guys uh, was that uh, Blazing Griffin, the company who uh, makes this game, they are so awesome, so attentive. Their devs are so cool that they actually wrote a little featured article about me and and slash for me, and and it's under as like a news piece on their main website. It's pretty cool. If you guys want to go check it out, it's it's a really cool piece to read if you want to understand the game better and if you wanna. Uh, learn more about like different weapons and how much damage they do and things like that and also to see that these guys are so attentive and they care and they, they take the time and, uh, and I, I really appreciate that that is awesome thank you so much guys uh, I'm gonna start a new adventure and this time I'm gonna go with something uh, something that I wanted to do last time because I realized the carrier is is really good okay the carrier with the drones is one of the best ships um, but probably not for me, not in this stage of the game. I want, I want to go with the, with the previous decision that I was like, just an inch away from making. And I'm gonna take a dreadnought. You know, I'm gonna buy a dreadnought, and I'm gonna see how I can, I can, I can see how one do with dreadnoughts. And sadly, Puma is a thing of a past. So, let's see. What do I want to call you? Mr. Salter. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm so bad at naming. What about... Sved? And I actually want to name you something scary because you're a dreadnought. I want to call you Thornma. Yes, Thornma and Sved. <laughs> Such strange names. Um, I could buy attachments right off the bat, uh, and supplies. Let's see if there are any attachments that I can take right now. Hmm. And can I sell this? For... Say... No, I shouldn't. Alright. Attachments. <clears throat> Let's see. Shield regeneration... All regeneration, damage, this might be nice. Strike missiles one, burst cannon, right, yeah, target tracker. Would this count as a, as a, as a, as a, what you call it? Um, missile or just torpedoes are like a different class? I think torpedoes are a different class, but let's see. You know what? Okay, let's see. Um, 
shield regeneration is going to go on the dreadnought because he's gonna take a ton of hits all right i'm good let's go start this new adventure and i'm gonna go to every single node that i see starting with this one then we'll go up there civilian ship has suffered engine failure in unfriendly territory as you jump in from inner space other uh, systems go dark and the ship drifts. Clearly they want you to believe that they're dead or licked. Um, we're gonna contact this ship. An intense woman wearing thick robes answers your hail. Killers! Your proximity to our internal souls endangers us all. Leave us be. Um, can we help in any way? Even your presence taints us. You've already done us immeasurable harm. Leave! We're gonna send an engineer to ship their fix their ship. Yeah, we're nice. <gasps> as soon as you injure your docks with their vessel, it explodes. Oh my god. What a mistake! I... This is an awful beginning to an to an episode. Alright, your communication specialist intercepts an Earthani system wide broadcast. Our forces have been rooted by the Akari. Retreat and regroup. The message is originating from a small enemy fleet close to your location. They must have a high ranking Orthani officer on board. <sighs> Destroy it. You will need to hunt them down, but for the Akari, the hunt is the best part of it all. Cool, so we have a ton of strike missiles that are going to shoot out. Uh, strike missiles are going to deal with grouped up enemy enemies very well, and we have the cannons to deal with drones and whatnot, and faster moving enemies. And we can focus fire onto the dreadnought with the targeting override. And another awesome thing is that he automatically has shield regeneration, or faster shield regeneration with like 6,000 shield. Ow. That was obviously awful. And the torpedoes just wreck. Like, they are massive. Like, let me just show you. We're gonna put the torpedo here. We're gonna have the dreadnought actually. We're gonna have our assault attack that guy. Wow. And it's just on a cooldown. It doesn't use energy. Do you want a weapon, weapon better than that? Come on, seriously. Like, is there anything better than that? Holy balls. Alright, stop moving. Um, attack this guy for sure. But I'm just gonna check the weapons real quick. Oh yeah, this uh oh yeah it needs to go down. It needs to go down fast. Um here. We'll do We'll do this. We'll bring you in. We'll have you go over there. Or over here actually. So you're not circling around. And Focus all fire on the dreadnought. This would have to. Oh shit. Oh, you're still circling around. What the fuck? Right, get this guy. Uh, can we drop a torpedo here and just be done with it? Just target that guy instead. Oh shit, get him. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 what are you doing? Stop it! Get in front! Get in the front!
Protect him! Alright, get back. You know what? I, I might upload that episode later. <laughs> I might ups, up, upload the, the last episode later. Um, but it was really bad. I mean, I went like a couple of nodes and then I got into this fight. I think it was like the continuation of Jerob's battle and it destroyed me. It completely destroyed me. Like, were these pirate ships and you wouldn't think pirate ships would be so strong. And they murdered me so hard. I think it was them. I don't know. Every Akari knows that the fleet is at its most vulnerable while retreating. Now the Orthani knows this too. Good. Orthani. Fucking Orthani. A recent update to your tactical map indicates there is an Orthani weapons testing facility at this location that we are going to destroy. Hello. This research facility has been gathering disabled Akari ships and using them to in, in weapons testing trials for the Urthani military. If they sell you some of their ships, their life will be over back on... Oh, their life will be over back on Orthon. Though a healthy price may help them consider their al or allegiances. Um, they, I, I guess they're not, they're not cheaper at the same price. And I definitely don't have the monies, so... Thanks. Bye. I need supplies! A colossal factory hangs in orbit before you. The Orthani generally employ your enslaved local colonists to work in these munition de depots. In the poorer parts of the galaxy, it is often the only way for people to feed their families. Any opportunity hurt the Urthani is worth taking. Capture the factory! Destroy the factory! From a distance and claim any salvage. Oh, this is the mission. This was the mission that destroyed me. I got into this mission, I think, last time, in this last episode, and I died! We're gonna destroy it from a distance and go. The crew offers you several alternatives based upon the specific weaknesses of the factory. Have the fleet open fire simultaneously, hack the facility's defense system and command it to turn upon itself, or send in a suicide crew to bomb the main reactor. Well... I want to get some. I want to see some fire action, man. The firepower you have at your disposal was not oh, was not enough to make it past the factory's defense systems. So you're starting to go full alert. Shit! Shit balls! Oh, these kind of hurt. Low haul. Perfect. All right, get that guy. You get that guy. What is this guy? This guy's dangerous, but let's just kill the things that can die very quickly. Basic missiles. A basic cannon. Basic target tracker, basic firing computer, it's basic stuff. What about you guys? Just basic cannon stuff. Shouldn't have done that a long time ago.
All right, I'm standing here till this guy's shields are back. <laughs> There's no way that I'm gonna continue on before he has some decent amount of shielding. Oh no, at least, at least five thousand five hundred. <laughs> So yeah, how are you guys? Doing well? I'm really embarrassed about putting up the last episode where I died. But I will. I mean, I, I, I it's still like a half hour episode and I'm going to put it up. But I was thinking that uh, it would be nice. Holy shit. I should have kept going. Why did I why did I not just not go? Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's attack that guy. Oh, so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Alright, no more wasting time. Apparently they don't care. Oops. Punched the microphone again. Oh shit, mines, 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 mines. Experience, uh, credit supply, you leave the factory under record control and leave the system feeling a little safer. Cool, alright. Well, I'm glad that it didn't just get destroyed. We got some experience out of it, we got some goodies out of it. So good! Uh, ooh, who's that? Did you see that? I think that's a cargo ship. I think we have a cargo pod to escort or something. You jump in next to another Akari ship. Oh, it's the another Akari ship called Asiaka. Deep Space Recovery Vessel. Greetings, War Leader! The ship we were sent to recover has just been lost to the nearby sun. Though we do have the majority of our crew on board, we are still well equipped for ship repair. Can we offer you any help? No. Uh, I have zero critical damage on me, thank you though. Bye. Uh, yes. Entering the system, you receive a high, high band security message. Fleet Alpha Five, you are entering your sonic control space. What is your ident? Um, I Orion transponder has been damaged. We're thunder returning from the front lines. When a car you work, chapter of Prodigious power prepared for death. Broadcast the ident of the last tiny ship you encounter. Ah! Well, I don't want to trick them, trick them. I'm going to, like, try to trick them. Acknowledged. Fleet Alpha. Report to Orthani Fleet Command as soon as you can for repairs. Alright. Shit. I should have I should used the last ship's thingy. Away we go. Away we go. Alright. You arrived to find a cluster of Orthani controlled space stations. Your communications specialist... Picks up the Visicom signal. These stations are broadcasting anti Akari propaganda. An artificial media spliced life form is spreading lies about Akari atrocities to the entire sector. What the hell? Um.
We're gonna... We're gonna demand immediate surrender. You open a Vizicom link to a station commander. She stares at you with unbridled hatred. So... An Akari Kalja thinks we're so easily intimidated. We're gonna show him the size of our fleet. Wait, is that a good idea? No, second one. Surrender, or this is the day you die. She leans in and screams down the feed. I'm not gonna do that into the microphone, but... Those are the last words you will ever speak, Akari Mongrel. Oh god, here we go. Oh, get ready for battle here. This is just coming. Okay, you are dangerous looking. Holy shit. You are also very dangerous looking. God damn. And we are not happy about this situation. You're going to attack this guy. You're going to attack this guy, I guess. No, just do, do all of them at once. Then, when they're like close to each other and stuff, I'm going to throw in this. Torpedo right here. Right here. Fire it. Yes. Wunderbar. Let's get this guy. Because all of his shields are down. Get him, 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 get him. Fuck. Fuck. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, just finish him up. Just do it. Oh my god, are you serious? Alright. Almost there! Almost there! Oh! Most! Yes! We go. We go quickly. We go fast. We don't want to waste any time. Time is of us is of essence, guys. We cannot linger around. Otherwise, you're thunny gonna come after me and kill me. That's all they want to do. And that's all I want to do to them too. It's, uh, it's a mutual feeling. I hate you, Orthon. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No spawns. No spawns. No spawns. Fuck. No spawns. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to be a piece of cake. Torpedo! Away. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It's going to be great. You come over here. Yes! So good. This combination is magical. This is magical. If I could get a, um, a Pulsar ship, a Pulsar would be amazing too in this situation. Imagine these, these two guys standing in the front lines. And, and then the Pulsar ship is just like throwing in buffs. Like, oh yeah, I do way more damage. Oh yeah, just uh, increase your attack speed by like 40%. And like, oh yeah, just go and don't worry about your, your haul damage. Fixed! Yeah, I can't wait until I have more money. To buy more ships. I might actually buy a tech ship too because um, the Pulsar will, will basically improve my ships and a tech ship will essentially weaken and work against the enemy ships so you know one way or another it'll be amazing station B please get captured without any spawns oh no 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 they're behind us all right come in come in all of you come in I want to see who you are how many you are is this all you are I'm still not gonna underestimate you so what I'm gonna do is uh where did I tell you to go? I told you to... Hold on. Actually, I'm going to tell you where to go after I shoot uh, Thornmaw's torpedo. Then I want Svet to go... Wait, where did the torpedo go? It's right there. I'll put it here in case like other, other enemies fly in. 
for these guys to try to move forward. And over here is safe, so I'm gonna have you come over here. So you're like, you know, close, within range. Because your turrets still can't, your burst cannon isn't in range. Your missiles are, but not your one of your better cannons. The burst cannon is actually pretty powerful, so it should be... Uh, I should try to stay within a distance where, where I can actually use it and benefit from having it. Oh man, it, it's wing. A part of it just came off before he spawned. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so funny. Alright. Captured! Sweet, let's go. Go, my boys. Go, my boys. I love you. I believe in you. Sped and thrown off. I like their names. I actually like their names. But seriously, it's really hard to come up with a with names for stuff when you're doing let's plays and you feel like your time is limited. You don't want to sit there for 10 minutes and think of a name when people are watching your episodes. They're gonna get pissed! Oh, 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 oh. How would I get out of your way? Oh shit, I couldn't. What I did there, how about that? Just the two of you? Just the two of us. Hmm? We may- wait, wait. We can make it if we try! Just the two of us. You and I. Beautiful. So good. Uh, no, I. Oh shit, balls! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh, oh. That's fine. Uh, you stay over here, actually. Behind him. No, behind him. Behind him. No, yeah. This guy's talking business, by the way. Torpedo almost ready. I can kill this son of a bitch. Oh shit, this one doesn't, didn't die. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Okay, perfect. Get this one. This one, this one, this one, this one. Just get him. Oh my god, you're gonna die. All right, your turn. Get him. Torpedo away. Faster speed. Done. Whew! That got fucking ugly! Station belongs to Dukari now, isn't that great? Uh, this will set the Earth Army back considerably. Alright, so we get the supply, we get 3,000 credits, and we continue on. I'm glad with the supply, because the more supplies we get, obviously, it means we can go further. And look at the danger level. Oh my god, this is gonna get rough. But, let's do it. I may have to, like, downgrade to regular difficulty, so I can just get through the game once, comfortably. Okay. A red light... Winks on the console on your Jahoon makes contact. Greetings, all leader analysis reports a 0.72% chance of success for this mission. Something you should obviously be trying to improve upon. It is unlikely that the Earth will suspect a direct strike against the Arabist platform at this stage, but be aware that they have uh, dispatched Guardian fleets as a precautionary measure. This guy talks really fast. That's the thing about him. This guy talks very quickly. Thanks for the information, my, my Jarhun. <laughs> You're welcome, War Leader. Though, speaking of the Uthani, you may first want to deal with the fleet I mentioned. It has just warped in, and you're like, fucking hell. 
Alright, okay, no fear. Come in. That's it? No, 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 this is not it. The big guys are coming from that direction, aren't they? Show me your faces. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no. Alright, I know what to do. Come on, come on. These drones are crazy. Oh my god. That hits me. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose all my shielding right here. Check it out. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Um. was dangerous. Why do I feel like things are more dangerous than elite difficulty? What is going on? <laughs> Alright, these guys leveled up, which is awesome. We don't get a supply at all, but we get a bunch of credits, which is good. We're actually close to being able to buy another ship, maybe like a rogue ship. High command may have plenty of... But... Analysts focused on this war, but a little more warning about that attack would not have gone amiss. Yeah, there's a... Seriously... Oh shit, I forgot to uh, upgrade my fleet. No, 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 I need to upgrade my fleet. Shit. Fleet manager, please. No event, no event, no event, no event. The Ikari Jahun contacts you on an emergency channel. Be warned, warrior. We have been tracking an Rathani war party that is heading on a direct intercept course to your current location. You will be advised to jump away from the system immediately. Acknowledge. The Jahun. <laughs> I can't believe that that she got upset that I didn't fucking disregard her by by her title. I mean, or didn't regard her by her t her title. Because last time when I said Jahoon, I feel like me saying Jahoon took too long and I got attacked. Oh man! All right, leveling up. Okay, okay. So all right, okay. I know what I need. I need you to actually, what is this? Max shield, max hull. Shield regen is very important. Uh, what about you? Energy regen. I don't know exactly what you use for energy, per se. I don't know if energy regen is going to be a good idea for you, but shield would be nice. Extra shield. Um, yeah, let's go with extra shield. Yeah, I mean, a thousand exit shield is not much. It doesn't take us that far, but it's, it's better than, like, the other options. In my opinion, for now, for this kind of ship and the weaponry that, I have, that we have on it. Um, now... <clears throat> the unfortunate thing is that these two parts are not connected. So what I need to do is choose whether I want to go up here or down here, but I see more points. Uh, not only number-wise, I see more points, but I also see that there are, there are events down here. So I'm actually going to travel down here and ignore what it was up there. Uh, we're not going to have the supplies or the danger level or anything to deal with that kind of back and forth movement. You know? A anyway, uh, let's try to see if we can get out of the sector before like 25 minute episode. Operation Teriyak, a recent push by Akari expeditionary forces into occupied space has left behind a number of these pop-ups. Um, prefabricated supply depots. 
Most are empty no now, but some are manned by riffraff. Wheeling and dealing in and out of date. Wheeling and dealing in out of date supplies that don't really belong to them. Let's try to see if we can barter for supplies. Ooh. Yes, please. I'll take it. Man, now we're down. We don't have anything anymore. Okay, supplies are very important. Supplies are very important. Let's go here. Oh no, we have to defend this. An Akari ship has crashed close by. It, has trans tran it, it was transporting a war hero who is now in danger of capture. The Urthani like to use prisoners such as this to spread their propaganda. Um, we're going to tell the Urthani to stay away from the uh, downed ship or we're going to destroy them and... Blah. You receive no response, but the Urthani move into attack formation. You must fight your way to the stranded Akari. We will not give up on our own people. Attack! Confrontation over a single ship will not help us achieve our goal. Leave the ship to the Orthani. No, no, no. No, no, no. We are warlike. Do you have any weapons? You nev You guys never have any weapons to support yourselves. I, I cannot understand or stand that. I'll put this over here. Shit. Alright, get over here so you can help with the drones. In a second, we're gonna throw in a giant uh, freaking torpedo here. Like this. Oh, did he get this one? Alright. Oh, it didn't get, didn't get all of them. Cool. All right. Okay. 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 That's good. The Urthani will think twice before attacking any lonely car in this sector. Perfect. Cool. Cool. What? I don't get anything else. That's it. That's all I get. Come on. What the fuck. All right. This one. We jump away. It's a factory. You receive a secure transmission from an Urthani over the factory, which otherwise seems completely oblivious to your presence. Response communication. This seems suspicious. Stay clear and pre uh, prepare to leave, or take advantage of the situation and destroy the factory. Last time, I took advantage of the situation and I destroyed the factory. But this time, what I want to do is I want to respond to the communication. Because I was questioning how they would even know that I'm there, and they sending me a transmission, even though they're completely oblivious to my presence in the sector. So let's see what the hell they have to say. There is no picture to go with the audio feed, and the voice is distorted. Leader. I am jamming the factory sensors so they cannot crack or sleep. Okay. Um. Um. Who are you? As far as the station is concerned, I am Otwani. I was torment here by High Command five years ago. Tasked with working with my way into additional implants. Now I control the manufacturing process for all the Yotani weapon systems in the sector. Um, um, uh, it sounds a little threatening. Maybe he is indeed hiding. I don't know. Um, you know what? No. Let's check with High Command. Wait. Wait, 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 w
I have devised a minor change to the weapon system used in every Yorthani vessel. In the short term it makes them stronger, but over time vastly increases wear and tear. If I can convince the war console to approve the design, six months from now half the Yorthani military will be using faulty weapons. In six months, dude! In six months our enemy fleets are might have destroyed us with these new weapons. You, you, you basically saying you're giving them six months of more power. But then again, if this is true, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I can trust them or not. How can I help you? All you need to do is take fire from these new weapons when I reactivate the sensors. I'll make sure you are mostly unharmed. Dump some supply to make it look like you sustained more serious damage. Then leave the system. It will appear as if the new weapons were too much for your fleet to handle. Alright, let's play along. <gasps> what happened to me? The Akari's, the Akari spy brings the station sensor back into operation and you are immediately detected. Warning shots graze you, but the accuracy is poor. Okay, 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 okay. I see that, I think that the deal was went the way that it should have. You shed some supply and move to the edge of the system where, the, where an Arthani cargo pod is waiting for you. A gesture of thanks. Oh, aww, aww, isn't that sweet? This deception may not win the war, but it could win many future battles. That's, you know, that's basically what I was thinking. That's basically what I was thinking. Yeah. And we get a uh, increase of fire of missile types, which could surely go on here. Install. Thanks, guys. I hope this plan works. I hope we don't all die soon. Let's move away. Okay, here we are. A space station close by has been taken by Akari forces. They extend you no welcome and offer no help, despite that being standard protocol on the front lines. Yeah. Excuse me, I am the war leader. You don't just like not acknowledge my presence, dude. Um, hmm. Should we contact the station and be like, hello, we're here. Turn around and look at us. Or wait for the Ikari to contact us? No, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I know? Uh let's contact the station. Station commander wears no clan What he is he's defected. He wears no clan symbols and has covered all identifying life story tattoos. We are Ikari no more. What do you What do you want with us? Hmm. Why have you turned your back on our people, man? Our people, our people, are tearing the galaxy apart over the Ark. You know, we're not fanatics like the Holy Egyptum. Okay, we just want peace. All right, do you understand that? We are the atheists of distant star. Okay, you get that? We're we're the Ikari atheists. We want. We just, if we could, we would just destroy that Ark. Well, hmm. The Urthani will not create peace if they take the Ark, and that's the problem, do you understand that? Or, those are the words of a coward, which I, which I like a lot. <laughs> no, no, no. What about your clan, man? You will dishonor them. No, he's clanless. He actually has a clan, he probably has a bunch of followers who, do, who uh, want peace and don't want to do anything about the Ark. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta tell him option one. Station commander shakes her head. Nothing good comes from that thing. We should hide it away and forget about it. Are you going to attack us, commander? Of course I'm going to attack you, commander. If you're going to call me commander, that means you still think you're Akari. And if you still think you're Akari and you're pulling these, pulling these shenanigans off, then I'm going to attack you because I'm Akari and I'm warlock and I've been on a mission as a war leader to protect the Ark and destroy all who opposes it. The station commander nods. That's what I thought. War makes animals of us all. I know that. 
I know that. But you know what? It's not like we just initiated war. We are in the middle of a war. And when you're in the middle of a war, there's nothing you can do but to finish it. Then maybe in the future after the war is over, you can find peaceful resolutions and never go to war again. Which would obviously be my, be my opinion about war. Because I hate war. But if like a war gets initiated, I don't know if you guys know Daniel Quinn. Daniel Quinn is this uh, amazing author who writes a lot about socio-political issues and things like that and religion and whatnot. And he is also anti-war, but he believes that if you are attacked and they want to take your domain and they want to endanger, you like literally directly endanger your livelihood, not by like, oh, they're putting like cholesterol, like some cholesterol into our hamburgers, like no. If they like come into your face with guns, it is stupid to sit there and be like, ah, we want peace, put your gun away, you maniac. You, like knowing that they're gonna shoot you directly in the face, you just think, oh, I don't wanna, no, I don't wanna fight you, I don't wanna fight you. No, protect yourself, and then spread the message of peace and practice it later, and never go to war and don't support war. And I, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Anyway, okay, let's do this. We're gonna get. Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him. Yeah, come here. Bundle up, bunch up, all of you. Perfect. 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 You get this guy. You get this guy. And then we'll get that guy together. What are you doing? Oh shit, he's Lancer. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's get this guy. Not time to get that guy. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Wait, you get out of the way to Lance. Don't don't get Lance. Don't get Lance. Get behind him. Shit, that was so close. That Lance was actually aimed for Sved. Or aimed at Sved. Move, move, don't get hit by Lance. Okay, are we done? Did we do it? Are we done or is there going to be a second wave? Doesn't look like it, doesn't look like it, yes, we did it! Yes, yes, yes! Like deserters everywhere, the Akari holding the base did not have the courage or skill hold you back. You have them transported to AOS for punishment or help. You know, maybe the, some of them will be sent to a psychiatric facility where they're going to be examined for mental disabilities, perhaps. I don't know. Let's go. Blackout failure? I'm kind of familiar with this. I just don't know what might happen this time. This processing facility in Orthani space is clearly not expecting to have to defend itself against a Kari fleet this far into Orthani space. We will sell you what we can if you spare the women and children, but you must then move on. A Kari wolf. Um, discount, guys? Cause I would love to buy a gunship. Can I? Man, I'm so close to buying it. If I hadn't bought, oh man, if I had not spent so much money on supplies before. This would have been such a an easy purchase. And gunships aren't awful either. Gunships deal moderate sustained damage to enemies, but have greater survivability than the burst damage counterparts. Which I think are... Which ones are the burst damage counterparts? The assaults? No, I don't know. Uh, they come with beams. Oh, that can't be a cannon. It looks like a beam. Um, Attachment-wise? Yeah, obviously we can't buy any ships. So, let's buy what's important. Let's buy attachments. Strike missiles, useless. Siege missiles. Ooh, slow firing with powerful missiles that do heavy area-based damage. 360 damage per missile. 
takes seven seconds to fire two missiles for 720 damage almost. All right, cool. Area effect is ginormous. It, it is automatic. It could make my dreadnought really dreadnought, dreadnoughty, and dreadful. Um, the heavy cannon. It's also pretty quick, honestly. You know, I think I'm going to do a direct upgrade on both of my ships with these. And call it like a, an actually amazing purchase. Now the question is, should I have siege missiles? Yes. Yeah. Because my Dreadnought, if somehow, if just somehow Svet gets disabled, he's the only guy with a cannon who's able to actually protect me against, uh, or the cannon's the only thing that really does a good job against fast-flying enemies and and drones. So I think I'm going to give them, like, the other way around, plus the fact that Svet has the rocket thingy over there. Um... Hmm, hmm, hmm. 100. 130. And 100. Yeah, that's okay. Go on there. Okay, thank you. And then siege missiles. The range is 130. 100. 130. Okay, cool. Yes. Install. I made a big boo-boo. I made a giant mistake. It's fine. It's cool. Shit, I wish I could undo. <laughs> Cancel. You know what? Spice of light. Let's go. What a mistake. I should should have played that better. Oh my god, that was a really noob mistake. I didn't even look at the shape of those things. Fuck. Um, does this mean that this is going to be like a new, different kind of encounter here? I don't know, but let's exit. Let's go. Let's jump away. I mean, at least I still didn't spend more money on, on stuff like that. All right. Oh, this looks completely different, too. I had never seen a system like this. Wow. And I want to go to the heart of the enemy. You know, I want to... People are fighting here. These are uh, Orthani-controlled. I want to go to Orthani-controlled systems as much as I can. Um, let's go to this one. I mean, none of this reasoning makes any sense. This is all fantasy and my own reasoning because I want to have fun with the game. But it looks like this is a more of a flanking position coming from like a sharper angle over here. You know what I mean? So let's go over here. Boom! Here we are. Boundaries shift fluidly in interstellar war, but the sector you are entering is currently controlled by the Urthani. Your systems engineer has managed to fold your Urthani border controls, but you're going to have to move carefully to avoid provoking a daily response. This is enemy territory. Alright, I just want to go to one point and then we're going to call it an episode, guys. Let's see what's going on here. If I go over here, go over here, go over here. So, and then... Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. What is this? The Shiniac station has been using a small fleet to assist in maintaining the economic blockade against the Urthani. Perhaps some of these ships could serve as... Uh, new ships, guys. This is perfect. If I survive these nodes down here, then I would for sure have enough money. Say, 3,000... 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. So it's going to be like 12,000. It's like 17,000 monies-ish. If I get like around 3,000 from each of these. Even if not... I can still go around and come around. I see. Alright, so let's try this. Just one point. 
Hello. You arrived to find a cluster of Orthani control space stations. The range of essential supplies are stored here, ready for transport to the front lines. Stations like this are the lifeblood of the Orthani war machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tell him to surrender. You open a busy link to a station commander. She stares at you with unbridled hatred. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, last time I said surrender or die. This time I'm gonna say, look how big my ships are. She checks a readout and laughs. If that is what you already call a fleet, then we have already won this war. Fa ha ha ha. Fa ha ha ha. Ha na ha 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 na ha na da. Oh, you're so dead. Get him. Oh yeah, the cannon. The cannon, actually, I, I can already feel the, the effect of the cannon. This was the mission that killed me, I think, last time. But hopefully not this time. I only fall for the same kind of thing once. Bring it. Bring it. The best you can. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, come on. Hit me with your best shot. Yes, you get closer. Yes. Yes, capture it with no issues. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. To the next one we go. Go, 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 go. Maybe they're following me. Oh, they are following. I think the entire time they were right behind me. I guess they kind of like constantly tail you. I just want to move around this guy. <laughs> Fuck with him. Frustrate him. What? <laughs> I just tore through the guy. That was really funny. Oh man, I'm just tearing through these guys. I think the heavy cannon is incredibly powerful. Oh wow. Oh man, what are you doing? What are you doing? What, what is this thing you want to fire at me? No, no, no. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. I told you you're not gonna. And you're dead, in fact. And some sort of weapon already somehow dealt all damage to my beautiful Thornma. From off screen. Really? From off the screen. You send enemies from off the screen. Alright, I have 13 seconds to destroy that guy. Before his shields come on, we're definitely gonna do that. 
Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, dead, 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 <laughs> everything dies. Oh god, everything dies. Yes, maybe. Yes. We're going we're going way over time for this episode. Like way over time. But I love this game. I love this game so much. I cannot get enough of it. I'm sorry, guys, if hour-long episodes are too long for you. Uh, I really suggest you guys taking a break. Um, you know, watch half of it and come back and watch the second half later or something. It's, it doesn't have to be... You know, when they release a full season of Breaking Bad, I know you still sit down and watch all of it in, like, binge-watch in one session. But, you know, you, you have the option to not do that either. You know, it's available to you. You can come back later to it. I can't stop playing. You can stop watching. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's hope that this goes well. I think it did. We're out of here. Perfect. Awesome. Alright. Station belongs to Ikari now, man. Yeah, all of them. This will set your thirty back considerably. And I like the sound of that. That, that, that is a sort of sentence that I do want to read on my playthroughs. Okay. Alright guys, we're done with this episode, I'm gonna actually save and quit out of here before we go any further, because if I don't, that would be further tempted to go on for myself, but here we go, there you have it folks, a brand new adventure with a dreadnought, and I hope you liked it, if you did like it, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe and share, all of that would help out a great deal, and thank you for your time and attention, I'll see you guys in the next video, yeah? Bye!